Is Cassie, have you guys seen Cassie Stewie around? I need, I need him. I need to, what, Richard? It, oh, you haven't seen him. Oh, no, it, he's having a good time over at Area 85. He's working, having a good time, chilling, uh, getting lots of payment for it. He's very, he's a very rich man. Uh, and I wanted to speak with Richard, uh, Richard's cousin Stewie. Is he, is he here? Is Stewie in, please? All right, ladies and gentlemen and fools out there. Welcome back to another episode here on the Foolcraft server. I hope everybody are doing fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, last episode we did uh, very cool things. I really like the Enderman. It's grown on me and I'm recording more or less back to back So I haven't actually been able to see your response yet because as a few of you know, I'm going away Going away for a week. I'm gonna be gone for a week and I want to backlog some videos because uh, I want to have videos for you dudes when I'm gone, so uh, Don't be discouraged if you said something and I haven't changed it yet. I'll get to that. I'll get to that But anyway dudes today uh, what I want to do is I want to start off by doing some small bits and bobs. Uh, remember the, the 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 goal here is to move out of our science lab eventually. Uh, all the uh, all the modules that we have put up temporarily. Uh, and uh, I think we can move a few of those out. Courtesy of a few ideas that you guys have been giving me. Uh, so now that we got this going, I kind of feel a bit more... Uh, Happy with how the <laughs> how the base is gonna go, where things are gonna be laid out and stuff like that. Uh, but over here, you dudes gave me some amazing suggestions when we created this, and that was to make these walls kind of useful, uh, so that we could put things behind here, uh, and that's what I want to do. Um, but to get to that, we gotta do some some bits and bobs. The first thing I want to do is I want to. Uh, make use of uh, refined storage fluid system. The thing is you can store fluids in uh, refined storage and access it from uh, from your grids. Uh, so that's really cool. So to do that, first of all, let's craft up a fluid grid because I actually forgot about that. So we're going to need this guy here. Do I have more advanced processors? I do. Okay, that's simple then. I say it's simple, but I may just have enough here. I may not have enough to do there. I think I have enough. Okay, <laughs> I'm out of quartz. We got to find a way to produce quartz as well because uh, yeah, it's gonna be a thing. So fluid grid. This guy is a uh, another grid piece uh, to refine storage, and I guess mm, I guess we'll just we'll mine this this cake that we made up. Uh, I guess we'll put him right here for now. Just temporarily. So this is like this grid, but you can see your fluids in the system. And then to store fluids, you can either make fluid drives, fluid discs. Uh, these guys here, or the bigger ones, uh, from reborn storage. Or we can do it in a different way. And what I want to do is I want to make sure we have water in our system. And I want to make sure we take our lava that we are digging out from the nether and put that in our system as well. So water we are producing in this aqueous accumulator. What I think we'll do... Again, this is a piece that's going to get moved, <laughs> but for now, uh, we'll put extraction on the bottom, and I'll just put a drum there. That should get water. Yeah, that's getting water. Cool, and then using an external storage, we can hook that up to our uh, crafting, uh, or to our uh, refined storage system. So, it's down here. Yep, yeah, okay. External storage. And boom. And I prefer to do it this way over the storage disks because it's a little bit of a nuisance to uh, to uh, 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 control what goes in the disks. So that takes care of that. And then for this guy, we don't really need any other tank than this. It has uh, 16, I think it's 16, buffer, 16 buckets buffer in there. So I'm just going to need another external storage, which may not be craftable for me because I'm out of quartz. Yeah, that's not going to be craftable, is it? So I'm going to need one of those. That's the glowstone. And then this. Ah, okay. Okay. Now that we have flight, mining quartz isn't really a big deal. But is there a way we can make it that I don't know about? No, it doesn't seem to be any way to produce uh, quartz. I think you may be able to produce it using... Uh, oh, maybe not. Using the void ore miners. And exporter... Uh, oh, that's not what I need. I need an external, <laughs> external guy. Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot. I just used... 
<laughs> I think I just used the last freaking gold processor I have. Uh, yep, I did. <laughs> okay. Do I have more silicon things? I do. Plunk that guy there. And we're gonna do... Hmm. Yeah, the only problem is I won't be able to put lava back in the system, nor will I be able to put water back in the system, because that would be constantly full. So that would be a little bit of a problem, but that there should now give us access to, I thought... Oh no, you know what I need to do? I need to configure these, I think. I need to change this guy from item to fluid. Yes. Item to fluid. And I happen to see that it was indeed 16 buckets that that tank can hold. So, there we go. And then as long as we have buckets, like empty buckets available in our system. So let's craft up a handful. Like that. As long as we have empty buckets, we can simply, boop, take it out. And we can also now export uh, from this uh, from the system. Which is very, very important. Unfortunately though, I can't empty... Oh, I can empty back if I'm quick enough. But since this is going to refill in a second... <laughs> Come on, refill, you stupid moron thing. Re re refill! Okay, refill. Now I can't empty it in because we don't have more space in the system. So that's a little bit sad. That's a little bit sad. But we got fluid in our system. So that gives us access to uh, uh, wiring fluids using refined storage. Which is just going to make things a lot easier and clean. So what I want to do. Back to the walls, right? What I want to do is I want to move uh, the potato creation up there. And then I want to set up... Uh, uh, let's break that glass. I want to set up uh, some more of these because I want to automate redstone next. Uh, but the most exciting thing with this is to see if I can uh, make it so that we can make it look good in the walls. Okay, next up, we want to automate redstone as well whilst we do this. So, we're going to need a redstone ore block. And we made the silk touch pickaxe last time. But I thought I'd show you another trick to get redstone ore that is pretty cool. Alright, we got some redstone down here. So this is a good thing to do early game if you get an exchanger early. These will actually silk touch break the blocks that you uh, break. So that there is going to give me, uh, yeah, redstone ore. Alright, so with our redstone ore, I think we're ready. So remember how we found that red orchard? I found another one since then. Uh, I wonder, is there an easy way to duplicate these? Um... Not that's shown here. I thought that this would give us an extra red orchard, but it doesn't. It just gives us the one back. Okay, so um, let's go to the wall. Let's go to the walls. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> all right, and these are the two we have at the moment. But like the plan is that all the tunnels, all the connectors will look like this. So we can put a lot of stuff behind here. Uh, let's take this one first because I really, I do like the way that looks. And let's just break in. Um... Yep, and I'm gonna remove this fan. A lot of people actually was like, no, please don't use fans again. <laughs> and I wonder how we're gonna put this up. I, I haven't come up with a design yet for, for how this is gonna work. Uh, I would like to hide the uh, the uh, the wood t the wood part of it because I don't think that looks great. But um, maybe we can do something like this and then actually make use of that pipe. Make it so that that pipe pipes in water because we do need to provide this with... With water, remember? Yeah, I think this is gonna look good, dudes. Um, hopefully. I want the fluid pipe to be semi-visible. It's kind of good that it's not visible on the front so easily. Because it looks kind of bad, to be honest, when it's like connected all over the place. It doesn't look as clean like I want that part there. But because we connect things, we get these things all the everywhere. Which isn't great, to be honest. So... Um, I do like that, and then I misplaced this. We, I, I'd, I'd, I'd uh, like to have it. Words are hard today, Escal. I'd like to have it winding around here, right? So that uh, it's kind of uh, sending it down like that. Maybe even instead of having it like that, maybe we can just send it down the middle here. See how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks better. Makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so the next stage is the power. Now, we've uh, we've done a lot of wireless power. And we're going to continue to do a lot of wireless power for the lag and convenience. But for the looks of this, I may... I'm just going to open up those. And that should be... Yeah, that's where I'm going to extract the items from. Uh, for the looks of this, I'm thinking that it may look better. May look better. May not look better. But may look better to use... Uh, conduits and then we'll wire this up to a wireless cell up here and <laughs> then we will hide away. It does give it a lot of color 
I don't like the blue though and the red. Which we can probably... Uh, Leadstone. What is the common name of these? Flux ducts. <laughs> I always forget. Yeah, we can probably get away from if we would take our time to make these. Maybe for now we'll make them invert just because I don't really have the setup to make the, the better one. Because I don't need the power transfer rate. These are like 15 RF per tick. They, it's silly, right? They, they don't need this at all. It's just for the looks. Uh, or maybe we'll just make it completely wireless. I'm not sure. To hide cables in thermal expansion, you're going to want core, uh, the covers. Uh, to make the covers, you need the structure ducts. Uh, duct, they are black, they are look like this, and you combine this with any block that you want to make into cover. I made it out of the corp stuff, and now I should be able to just place this guy like so. Very nice, and also I'll do that on the item thing so we don't see that stuff. I like it. Yeah, I think that looks good. I, I do like that. I think that looks good, and this would give like a functional wall. It still it kind of feels a little bit plain still. Which is a little bit weird, but we'll connect these wires up on the back here and then we'll have a energy cell and again These don't require a lot of power. So it doesn't really matter uh, And we'll output to the both the both sides, right? And then I'm just gonna stick a input on the top uh, And uh, one of our points flux points boop like that configure and you should be receiving power. You're sending power nice That's perfect then with the with the fluid, we gotta do the water as well. So now is where I want uh, to get to my uh, uh, refined storage, and we do have the cable down here. That being said, though, we can't put covers on the importers. Um, so we could do it with chisel and bits to cover the uh, importer up, so that it looks good from here. But I think the easier way to do it would be to use item ducts. Because those we can cover with the other covers. So let's do that. That and a couple of servos or four servos for this. And just a chest. Uh, we could also just do an interface. But I can't afford an interface at the moment. <laughs> I don't have the parts for it. So, okay. Back to this. I wired the cable up here. We'll put a chest down right here. We're gonna do an importer. Um, oh no, you know what we need? Oh no, no. That's okay. That's okay, Skull. I was thinking we need the fluid as well, but we will deal with that in a different way. So we'll put an importer here, right? And uh, probably put some stack upgrades in that if necessary. And then we'll just wire item ducts the same way we wired the uh, power cables into that chest there. And remember, these dudes do need a servo. They do not auto-eject for some weird reason. So that's all wired up item-wise. So now we're sucking, we're sending power and we got items... Uh, coming out of them if they grow something and the last thing then is the fluid right and where did I uh, Oh, I decided to have it up here. Oh uh, Right where I had the uh, <laughs> right where I put the energy cell Oops, okay, so we'll have to we'll have to rewire this a little bit. We'll just do this Energy cell. I'm so stupid sometimes, but don't tell me you guys don't do that same mistake, right? It's hap it happens, but yeah, we can do that and then we can access that fluid pipe thing um, and what we'll do is we will put a tank, well, we'll wire this down a little bit, or back and down. I'm trying to make this so that it doesn't look like janky also. <laughs> so if I put a uh, fluid tank over here, none of this will be visible. We put a fluid tank there. This can push out, because those fluid pipes need to be pumped out, but we can... We can push it with the Android oil tank. So do that on the top. And then we'll put an uh, exporter right there. And we'll say fluids. And then I need to grab a water bucket to specify water. Okay, water. And that should fill that tank up. Should push it out to the machines. And hopefully <laughs> they are getting water. They should be. Yes, they're getting water. Okay. They're not getting power though. Okay, so this was another thing that I should have freaking checked <laughs> a second ago. Um, I think from Sevtech when I played around with this and I think that Sevtech episode comes out after this But that's because it's backlogged But uh, I, I had the same issue in Sevtech where certain cables couldn't power these and it turned out to be that they received too much power from them So that kind of sucks <laughs> That kind of sucks So do we want to keep the cables there for design or do we want to skip them? Um, and wire it with different cables. I wonder if just out of curiosity, right? Will the leadstone ones work? Because I think it has to do with that it can't receive more power. 
But I think these ones are too powerful as well. Oh no, they work. My goodness. So, so, so they can receive 800 or uh, they can receive 1000 RF per tick, but not 4000 RF per tick, I guess. Wait, can we limit the... Uh, it may just be the cable that they're not configured with, because this guy can only output 1000. That makes no sense, dudes. That makes absolutely no sense. Just out of curiosity, right? Uh, this cable there, there is a cable there because there is a cover. So would this work and would this look great? If we use LV wire connectors, one there, that looks kind of cool, and then one there. Because I feel like if we don't do anything here, if we just do it wirelessly, it's going to it's gonna look a little bit empty. I kind of like that. It adds another, like, piece to the whole thing. Yeah, let's do that. So these, and th that should definitely work, right? Actually... Let's try on this one. This this guy has power. No, yeah, this uh, this guy does not have power. This this should absolutely work though, because these are <laughs> these are from the same mod. So there, yeah, that works. Okay, so weird. That must be it feels like it's a bug or someone's overlooked something or something. <laughs> but there we go. That that made it look better. Honestly, that made it look a lot better. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're growing taters and we want to grow redstone. I'm going to put up uh, another set of these over here. I'm going to save these cables though and try and make them fit into the design. But I'll do all that uh, in a second. So what I'm thinking is we'll have one side to grow the taters for Richard. The more taters we grow, the quicker we'll produce uh, diamonds. Which, you know, <laughs> it's not that we have a problem with, problem with diamonds. We are freaking so freaking rich here, dudes. But uh, yeah, uh, and one side that grows redstone. But let me show you. I need some dirt. Uh, let me show you how the redstone works. It's super super efficient or not super efficient, but super cool uh, So redstone you need the redstone ore to grow these on and There's the redstone flower and every time it harvests it it gonna pop out redstone, but uh, it's too quick for us to see So let's just, just see the speed of that in our system here That's that's very cool now. We got something that moves there as well. You guys are amazing. Thank you for the tip. Look at that We're producing redstone dudes we are growing redstone at a pretty rapid pace as well i like it i like it a lot by the way dudes i don't think you need that energy cell that we set up you can just uh directly wire it from your flux points i'm pretty sure that's gonna give energy Side number two, almost completed. I do want some lighting in these though, but I'll fix that in a second. I mean, something is giving off light here. I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, maybe the garden closures are giving off light or something. Uh, but yeah, uh, in this one, I'm going to grow two taters for Richard's belly. He needs that for his food. And then we're going to grow cacti and sugar cane as well. So we have production of that. Now, I do want to say I'm planning on making big rooms for... Oh, okay, I messed up here. Uh, I'm planning on making big rooms for certain uh, pro uh, uh, production things and not just have these cloches for everything. Uh, because they are, they're great. I love them, but they are not the fastest. Um, but for like sugarcane and cactus that we don't need insane amounts of, you know, it's great. It's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> so, uh, of course, important when we auto produce something. Remember this, my dudes. We need to make sure we have it stored in the vault because otherwise... Bad things will happen to our storage system. So, cacti and sugarcane. And I'm going to throw some upgrades on there. Uh, 512 is the default by a 2x2 two two is what they hold. And that seems like a pretty good number, but I'll throw one upgrade of emerald on there. And then I'll throw a void upgrade. And uh, yeah, then we'll never overfill our system. I think this came out really good. Really, really beautiful. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I put the fluid pipe up one level on this one and I think that looks better uh, I also like the fact that oh that fluid pipe is just going nowhere at the moment I may want to fix that but I like the fact that they're a little bit different right we got the cables going on in the background there and uh, These wires are perfect. It is these that uh, emit light So I decided to not put any lighting in there and we'll see later if we want to have lighting because we're gonna have some kind of lighting down the middle line here <laughs> But I really like how that looks one thing that would be cool, though, is to see the stuff it produces being transferred into the vault somehow. Um, I mean, for the visual experience of it. It's going to slow down the speed we produce it in a little bit, though. 
but it's definitely something that I think would be beneficial. And the best way to display it are the impulse item ducks. Uh, these guys here, they are so freaking cool. I've used them so many times, you've probably seen it. This is basically a normal item duct infused with uh, or a, a, a hollow uh, item duct, which requires quartz crap. Uh, <laughs> Or hardened glass, actually. Hardened glass we could make with uh, lead and obsidian. We may want to look into that, just because I don't have any quartz. Uh, but this here requires glowstone. And energized glowstone. Glowstone, which is a, is a base resource that I don't have any of. So how about automating that, eh? How about automating glowstone? Because I got a pram for how we can do that. <laughs> Richard, I, I love your family, man. <laughs> so... <laughs> The first thing I'm gonna need to do to want to make glowstone is to kill a ghast, believe it or not. Ah! I actually have a ghast here. So, you know, let's not- let's not do that. <laughs> What's a stupid hat? Stupid idiot. Oh, these hats sometimes, they're just too freaking good. <laughs> oh, ooh. I'm Mr. Cool. Yep, this is us now. <laughs> this is our life right now. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Richard's uh, family uh, home is over here. And I wonder if cousin Stewie is home. That's his name, right? Cousin Stewie. Is cousin Have you guys seen cousin Stewie around? I need, I need him. I need to... What, Richard? Uh, oh, you haven't seen him. Oh, no, uh, he's having a good time over at Area 85. He's working, having a good time, chilling, uh, getting lots of payment for it. He's very, he's a very rich man. Uh, and I wanted to speak with Richard, uh, Richard's cousin, Stewie. Is he, is he here? Is Stewie in, please? M Michael, excuse me. Uh, have you seen Stewie? I can't find Richard's cousin, Stewie. He's not here. Okay, he's a traveling businessman. Oh crap. <laughs> that sucks. Oh cousin Stewie. Where are you? Are you over here somewhere traveling businessman of doom? John you say is your name? I'm looking for Stewie. I do like the things you sell though, my dude. It's it's like uh It's it's pretty good stuff you got here. Yeah. Uh John, I may, I may, I may come visit you later. <laughs> I may have tasks for you in Area 85 in the future. We'll see. The view's good, huh? Yeah. It's a pretty nice view. What do you say you did for a living again? Fishing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not lucrative. <laughs> you should know. You should know. You should know the legendary, legendary Richard. He makes so much emeralds working in Area 85. He's not a stupid fisherman, though, dude. Like, <laughs> fish. <laughs> Have you seen Stewie? Have you seen Cousin Stewie? Idiot. Oh, my goodness. You guys have been complaining that I've been missing my chance cubes. Well, no, wait for it. No, 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 no. I don't want to wait for anything, dude. Come on, man. That's not fair. Uh-oh. Now. What happened? Oh, bedrock spawned. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> There'd be a bedrock in the sky. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Chance cube, Harrow. Oh, I found Nemo. Yeah. Oh, great stuff. Three pet clouds right next to each other. Mushroom pet? Okay. Pinged pet? No freaking clue. Wither pet! There we go! Oh, that's a good one. That's like one of the best ones. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Sheep pet. Slow fall. Gives you wool. Okay, I'll take you. Seriously, dudes. Don't mess with this skull. I got a, an amazing sword. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This guy looks scary. Get out of here, fool. Whew. Not having the greatest of days, we are we? Hmm, yeah. So you got your head stuck in something there, dude. Mm hmm By the way, have you seen Stevio? I mean, this is getting ridiculous. They say he's a traveling businessman, but I... <laughs> he's nowhere to be found, Mr. Stupid. Stevio! Oh, you're...
you're here, dude. Like I've traveled so far to come find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the I'm the employer of your of your cousin Richard, man. Yes, exactly. So listen, uh, I was thinking uh, you're coming with me, dude. You're coming with me. Oh my goodness, this took me half an hour to find him. Traveling businessman of doom, indeed. Wow. So this is the lab. I hope you like it. You're gonna live here for a little while until we find your permanent home. But uh, how would you like to come work for me and like bathe in, in these things? Check this out, Stevio. Hey, hey, Stevio. Steve. Hey, Steve. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> you'd love, you'd love it, right? You'd love it, right? Emerald, Emerald Heaven. Am I right? Good. Okay, so we have a deal. Uh, we have a deal. Okay, dude. So uh, my plan for automating. <laughs> uh, 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 the glowstone is quite simply uh, making business with Stevio, and for now he can chill here. Are you gonna get power? Yes. Okay, so let's plonk that in there or that Stevio, and there should be. Oh, I think I need to maybe unlock it first. Jeez, this guy he wants it all. You want gold or rotten flesh? Okay, how about some gold? There we go, Stevio. You're making money already. I told you it's a great place. Did you unlock? Yes. So this guy can give us redstone, <laughs> which we've already automated. He can give us lapai, which we haven't automated. But more importantly, I mean, you guys probably know this. It's a vanilla vanilla guy. Yeah, more importantly, oh, he, you can buy ender pearls from these dudes. I did not realize. <laughs> he can also give us glowstone, though, which is like, that's the worst glowstone trade there is. I think you can get one, two, or three. We got the one. So that's, that's a thing. Uh, let's just unlock all of this. I don't know if that's the last trade. Yeah, that seems to be the last trade. Okay, but we're gonna use it for glowstone. It's not really an issue for us to uh, to spend emeralds getting <laughs> getting glowstone. Uh, but that being said, though, like we aren't we aren't actually producing any emeralds. We gotta we are not sending any emeralds into the system. So we may want to change that setup slightly. So you go in there. Yes, that works. Okay, so <laughs> we'll have glowstone in there and we'll specify a certain amount. So a detector is what we're going to use here. And this is sort of looking into uh, my future plans with, with how we're going to use refined storage. It's such a good mod. <laughs> such a good mod. This is also available. I know that. It's available in... Uh, in applied and logistics, but it's a little bit uh, neater, I think, in, in refined storage. This place is looking absolutely garbachio right now. <laughs> but we'll do that. And then I'm just going to plonk this guy down there. We're going to say glowstone. This should give a redstone signal as long as we have less than, let's say, 2048 glowstone. And that means that split in four. Uh, amount of emeralds is what we're gonna need to spend here in the beginning. So I may wanna may wanna make it so that our emeralds are sent to the system. So to get this to work, let's configure this to glowstone. Uh, we'll do active on redstone signal, yes, and then we need an export and an import to him. For now, highly temporarily again, we'll import from the back. We'll export on the top. Boom, like that. We'll specify emeralds here, and yeah. That's going to be producing glowstone. That's imported in the back. Very nice. So we should see glowstone going up. But I do need some speed upgrades for this. Uh, because otherwise he is a sl super slow worker. And I'm also going to stick some energy upgrades in him. Because remember, uh, someone said in the comments that energy upgrades make him faster as well. So there we go. There we go. He's going to be sitting there producing glowstone for us. Thank you, Stevio. Or, or Stewie. Stewie is your name, not Stevio. Jeez, that's why I never found you. Thank you, Stewie, cousin of Richard's, second descent, for uh, joining the family, my dude. Thank you so much. Now, this is highly temporarily. What I'm thinking we should do, sooner rather than later, is make like a... Almost like a prison part of Area 85. <laughs> Richard is holy, right? Richard is holy. He's like the power, the brain of the operation. But for all of these other, because I'm planning more villagers to help us out, we should probably have, like, an area where they are trapped. And, um, yeah, I don't really know where to put that stuff. So this thing here, in case I would want to have emeralds into my system, I would need to uh, get them from Richard directly. Um, 6,900 diamonds in there. <laughs> and I may want to ramp up the tater, tater production as well. Tater and tater. Boom. 
Nice. Producing some more taters, producing emeralds and diamonds faster. But yeah, we don't get any emerald income. So we do get uh, diamond income. So we could turn this into emeralds using a philosopher's stone uh, very easily, right? If I do that. Yeah. So that's a way to say that we are producing emeralds, but it's not fully automatic. But anyway, Stewie is going to produce glowstone for us. It seems to be fairly slow, but he's going to do so until we have uh, 2048 in the system. We're going to need the glowstone because I wanted to do the impulse item ducts, right? I want to make these and I want to make it visible that we are producing stuff here. Thinking that we'll... Ah, do I want to do it in the ceiling or do I want to do it in the floor? It may look really cool in the floor because the floor is kind of plain at the moment. Earlier I found Nemo. <laughs> Nemo, please wake up. Please swim. Yes. Oh, that's good. Oh, nice jumps you're doing, Nemo. I love it. That looks so good. You're making Daddy proud. And, and Cactoni as well. You're making them... We're, we're all proud. Look at Nemo go. Look at me, Nemo go, Minimi. Look at him go. Yeah, he's over there. He's so good. Oh, wow, Nemo. That's some nice stuff. Do you want some food? Here, have some dirt. <laughs> they got worms in it. <laughs> that's that's great for your great for your stomach. <laughs> anyway, dudes, that, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you dudes have enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you dudes in the next episode. <laughs> we look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs>